All right. <clears throat> shalom, shalom, rasafari, salam tuna, taina yustalin, ine rasiadinos tefari neng. This is Wendem Yadin, or otherwise known as Ras Iadonis Tefari, or Tefari, Ras Yadinos Tefari. And this is the Friday, this is still the so called day, and soon coming up will be the evening time, and we'll have another Sabbath, another holy Sabbath. And we hope that all is well for you and yours in these. Um, perilous and troubling times that we are in. And we pray that if you have not already developed a love for for the word, for the scriptures, and a relationship with the true the true God of the universe, in and through our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christos, we pray and we hope that before it's too late that you will develop that that love, that true love and joy in studying the word because there's much to be gained both in this world and in the world to come now we're in the 40 still was technically in the 48th sabbath now certain other jews um or different jewish communities might have a slightly different order of um parsha or parashiot readings um that's the torah the, the torah scroll readings they may have a a different order that they may read it. In other words, some might read Shoftim this week instead as we have begun it from last week. But Shoftim, and what, you, what we have on the board right here, um, is from our last uh, uh, live lecture on signs of the times. And if you've seen that one, I'm sure there's probably certain questions, um, maybe even certain ones who might disagree with something. Um, spiritually academically you understand the words in the academic sense spiritually may disagree and might present other you know other opinions or perhaps even some knowledge because we don't say that we are beyond being in this flesh you understand we still have to wrestle with the the jezer hora the jezer hora and that is the the impulses to do kufu or evil you understand day to day even in and especially in the Moshiach, especially in Yeshua, especially in Christ. Now, what is interesting, and we're still kind of getting set up right here for both the sabbatical, the new sabbatical, or uh, Ki uh, Tate, Ki Tate, a, um, which is known in our reading, which is the 49th, as Bewetah uh, Gizeh, Bewetah Gizeh. Um, in the time that you enter in or the coming out in the sense of the time that you go up and time that you go up or the time that you enter in or use this trans as when ye or when ye go up or when you go up and this is the 49th or weekly Torah portion or the Padasha or we know as the Kuful or the Minbab, the Torah scroll reading. Now, before we get into that, and it's still a little bit early, and we hope to be able to record this and, and to post it because this we've been marinating, as they say, on this particular point throughout this particular week as we're preparing even new books for publication and updating some old books as well and preparing other um, teachable materials, other materials where you all and others can study, learn, and have Bible study and teach yourself and teach your children so we can grow as a community and fulfill this uh this al kidan this this holy covenant or this um benai berit or this uh berit hadasha this new covenant now shoftim before we move forward to be we tahu gize or ki te a before we move on to the 49th weekly torah portion this is part of the overflow from the 48th that is known as Shoftim, the Ibraist in the Hebrew and in the Hebrew dialect of the ancient Ethiopic because Ethiopic first language. Ethiopic is the first language. We come off a new, a new book actually on that to explain how and why we say Ethiopic is the first language. So we consider the Hebrew to be a dialectic or a dialectical speech pattern from that. Now, Shoftim, 
that's the Hebrew, or Shofetim, Shoftim, Shofetim, Shoftim, um, is Tharajoch, Tharajoch Bamarinya. Now, it means judges, judges, judges. And judges, it speaks about the judges and the officers or the judges and the officials in the community. And elsewhere, it has been explained that, that um, Shoftim, the reading of Shoftim, provides a constitutional framework. And throughout the Torah readings, we see that the Almighty is providing for his people the basic template through Moshe or Musa, Moses. Now, we know that Moses, as well as the other Hebrews and the Israelites, came out of Egypt. And those who have been studying with us and others who have studied know that there's a very important connection and relationship with Egypt. In fact, just to share this with you all, the book that we have been working on is um, Israel's or Israel's Debt to Egypt, I.D. 2G, or Israel's Debt to Egypt. That's the code that we basically use. Anyway, Israel's Debt to Egypt. And it's a it's an older work written by um, Edward, um, I think, Holdsworth, Edward H. Uh, Sugden, Sugden, I think a Methodist, um, either a preacher or a teacher. And he wrote a very, very important and very, very interesting um, work that is, is known but hasn't received publication in a while. And the Society of His Majesty and the Imperial Printers of the Langer Society, we have... Um, elected that this manuscript, this work is very, very important, both for when it was written, when it was first composed and, and, and revealed, as well as for us to review this with all that we have learned so far and all that has been discovered since that particular period of time. And therefore, it connects the Ethiopic or the, or the Egyptian and the Hebraic or the Hebrews to Egypt. Now, the, the title, Israel's Debt to Egypt, and when one say, well, the Hebrews borrowed this or borrowed that, we prefer to say that the Hebrews, the true Hebrews, you understand, and we speak of Moses, Musa, and, and, and the tribes, that they inherited, it was actually an inheritance, that they inherited these universal truths, you understand, as well as restored the purity of the original Yahwist, Yahweh's faith. In other words, the faith in Yahweh did not just begin with Moses, as ones will say Moses, or ones will say um, 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 Ku, Ku uh, Aten, or, or, or Ank Aten. They would say that he was the first um, monotheist, so forth and so on. Well, that's from a certain European um, speculation, and there's much that we can learn from that, but we have to review it since we've learned much more in this present time. Some of it holds up. Others, other aspects do not hold up to scrutiny, seeing that we know much more today than we do, than we did yesterday. And this is the same even with I and I. So this is part of the overflow of Shoftim. I think Shoftim is very, very important. You understand? This is one reason why we said that we need to present some of these summary ideas for some of y'all who will be able to receive it, you know what I'm saying, and as we progress or defeat, you know what I'm saying, towards the future and forward, it will become clear to those who have grasped this and were able to receive how important this um, lesson on judges and this particular, the 48th uh, uh, sabbatical reading and feeding on judges really is. So what we're going to do is... is, is um, gather some more of our evidence, and, and we're going to clear this, and we're going to go into um, Shoftim, you know what I'm saying, go into Shoftim, so um, please, uh, please stay tuned, all right, more to come, y'all willing, shalom, Rastafari.